What's good, y'all? It's Noble. Today, I'm on the Producer Grind channel to show y'all the number one tool to having high quality loops and samples. And to really show its full potential, I'm gonna deconstruct two samples I made with it. So, yeah, I just wanna keep it straight to the point. So, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. All right, man, so introducing the Cadence One Shot Collection. This kit is entirely designed by me and it has been months in the working. I've been over each and every sound many times, making sure they're all perfect. And I'm very happy to say that the reviews from this kit have been incredible. As the description says, man, it's a sample maker's dream kit. So we're about to deconstruct the samples, but before we do that, let me just run through real quick what's inside the kit. We got one shots, phrases, accents, transitions, vocal chops, and even textures and percussion loops. And as y'all probably already know, the kit is 100% royalty free. So you can go make some samples with this kit, get them placed with Drake, and that money is all yours. Here's some of the preview samples made with the kit. Crazy. And real quick, man, we gotta take a look at the price. Normally $37 with the value, this kit is on sale for 12 bucks right now. This deal is not gonna last much longer, so make sure you act quick. But yeah, with that out of the way, let's deconstruct these samples. All right, so here's what the final sample sounds like. <laughs> All right, so we're starting off the sample. It started from my boy LC. Simple, but there's a lot of room to add things. And then he also brings in these chords. And we use these for the B section of the sample. All right, so the first sound from Cadence is a vocal chop called Never Enough. I just made sure to match the pitch and add some reverb and delay. What this little delay automation is doing is filling up the space left empty in the chop. Next sound from Cadence is a guitar shot called Intense. So what it's doing is playing the guitar and then reversing back into itself. And the easiest way to do that is just to add a heavy reverb and then render it out. And once you have it rendered, reverse it so it looks like this. So from there we got this. From here I added this small string accent from Contact. Next sound from Cadence was a guitar phrase called At My Lowest. As for effects, the Creamy Snowflakes preset on Guitar Rig 6 is doing most of the work. And the next sound from Cadence is a guitar run called Frozen Ornaments. Same effects as the last phrase. So, so far you can definitely hear how everything's coming together. For me, I loaded up the Scarby Rickenbacker bass in contact. Real quick, the sauce for this bank is to have the velocities very low. The higher the velocities, the more plasticky the bass sounds. For example, this is what it sounds like maxed, as opposed to lowered. Way more realistic. But because that is gonna lose a little bit of volume, I make sure to add some gentle modulation from Sketch Cassette with the flutter down, and I always raise the lows a little bit as well. Most important thing to note here is how these slide notes are really adding to the overall realistic feel and how this run at bars four and eight is complementing the other sounds perfectly. For example, here's what the run sounds like in context. From here, I load up the Neuer Felt in context. Same tip for the velocities goes to this bank as well. Here's a pattern I played out on my MIDI. It's simple, but it's doing its job. Effects are pretty similar to what we've seen so far. It's also a Valhalla Vintage Verb. For arrangement, I have an A, B, and C section, and I have the A, B, and C sections repeat, but with no bass. That way, drum producers can choose which sections they want to use. And of course, remember to provide stems for those who don't want to use your arrangement. The master effects are also definitely helping out a lot here. With no master effects, we had this. And with master effects, we got this. So 
see I got a soft clipper and a BX mastering plugin, which are doing pretty similar things. And then the default on sketch cassette with the sound shifter to sound one semitone. So yeah, that's it for this sample. Let's go into the next one. All right, so before I break the second sample down, this is what it sounds like. Crazy. All right, so we're starting off with this marimba with the MIDI from my guy Perks. The effects are pretty standard. We just also have the default preset on thermal. From here, I added a little bass for some body. Next, I found this analog lab preset called Gravitational Pull. I rendered out a note, reversed it, and added a volume automation, and ended up with this. As for effects, I've just got the saturation knob from Softube. Next, I have a texture where I automated the volume so it's almost like a sidechain. This next sound started off as a woodwind, but it ended up as a texture. Yeah, it's really subtle. I got pretty much every thermal preset ever on here. Now, these next couple of sounds are all pretty subtle. And by themselves, they don't do much, but altogether, they're really making the sample sound full. So yeah, in short, we got a perk loop, a run, a string, a vocal with that reverb trick that I showed earlier to reverse it, a cello, and two accents. Next, we got an accent from Cadence called Green. And I chopped the end of it because I really liked how it sounded. As for effects, we got some reverb, Echo Boy, a light pancake, default preset on crystallizer, delay, a light tremolator, a default on sketch cassette, a light reverb, and the most important thing here is a default preset on delay eternity. I really like the sound that this delay gives and I would definitely recommend it. From there, we got one of my favorite accents in Cadence called Crystallization. And with effects, we got this. And the effect chain is the same as the last accent. Lastly, we got another sound from Cadence, which is a texture called Ancient. And for effects, we just got a light reverb. And yeah, from there, I rendered it out with some sketch cassette and dragged it into a new FOP. And the new FOP, I added a sound shifter to pitch it down too. And I put it on stretch and dragged it out to 144 BPM. So the final sample sounds like this. Crazy. That's gonna be about it for the video, man. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to subscribe and also like the video because it does help out the channel a lot. I hope you learned something with these sample breakdowns, and I especially hope you're interested in cotton canes now. With that being said, man, link is the first in the description. Make sure y'all go get that. Go follow my Instagram at prod.noble. Got something for y'all at 3K, and I'm out of here.